Hello and welcome to the weather for the week ahead from the Met Office. It was another cold and frosty Monday morning, but it's getting a bit milder for the next couple of days at least. And uh, we say goodbye to frosts, but fog could become more of an issue, more of a problem, uh, particularly around the middle part of the week. And then towards the end of the week, well, like recent weeks, there are signs again it may well turn a little bit colder as we go towards the weekend. But for the time being, it's all about things turning milder. And that's because we've got these weather fronts just drifting their way in. High pressure dominating across the south, keeping things dry. Just tucked in here, we call this a warm sector. There's some warmer air just pushing its way slowly across the UK. That's why Tuesday morning won't be anything like as cold as it was on Monday morning. But there is a, a cold front starting to push south, and we do have colder air arriving across northern Scotland behind that. So it will be a, a chilly day here on Tuesday, but it will also be sunnier. For most of us, Tuesday's quite a glum day. A lot of cloud around, some rain and drizzle here and there, but it will be that much milder than Monday with temperatures more widely up to double digits. Now, around the middle part of the week, that high pressure is in control across the UK. Not many isobars, certainly across England and Wales, which means the winds are light. And at this time of year, light winds often lead to foggy conditions. And we are likely to see some patches of fog around. Uh, it will be quite patchy in nature, but it could cause a few problems for Wednesday morning's commute. Now, that fog may well clear and lift, and many places will then have a dry day. But there will be some rain edging its way across parts of western Scotland, one or two showers elsewhere. But as I say, for most, it looks dry. And if it brightens up, well, temperatures should again reach double digits. But if that fog is stubborn, is slow to clear, as it often is at this time of year, well, temperatures may stay in single figures. Now, by the time we get to Thursday, we've flipped around again. High pressure's disappeared, low pressure dominating well to the north of the UK. But look at the number of isobars uh, producing some strong winds across parts of northern Scotland and a weather front driving south. Now, to the south, we could again have some fog around on Thursday morning, which may again take a while to clear. But elsewhere, the breeze will be increasing as that band of rain sinks southwards. The mild air to the south of it, something a bit colder again arriving across Scotland and Northern Ireland. But we will again see some sunshine returning. By Friday, again, we're back to high pressure trying to move in. Weather front sweeping out of the way, but notice it's again a cold front. So behind that, Colder air will be arriving. Some uncertainty about exactly when that weather front will clear. It may well still be bringing some rain across parts of the south for a time on Friday, but it should be scooting away. And then we're left with bright skies, some showers in the northwest, and that colder northwesterly wind, which arrives through Friday, again, bringing those temperatures back down into single figures. And that's how we go into the weekend, it looks like. Now, as always, this is a long way ahead, so some uncertainty, but it does look as if it will again feel quite chilly this weekend with nighttime frosts returning. But apart from a few showers, at the moment at least, it does look largely dry. Something we'll be keeping a close eye on. We will, of course, keep you updated throughout this week. There's always more on our website or download our app for more information.